Greetings everyone! My name is Kuro Blitz and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. First of all, I will going to say a little language disclaimer and I will be putting this in the description. I'll put the video link in the description from my next videos of the month if you have any doubts about why I'm transitioning from Portuguese to English. If you don't want to hear this, uh, skip to two minutes ahead on 2.30, so there's that. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's start this little rant of mine. I've started YouTube priorly, um, priorly, sorry, uh, sorry my English. Um, I started YouTube on the year prior, on 2019. I was doing a little uh, Sword and Shield theories and Let's Plays from GBA because my computer said they couldn't handle uh, Dolphin for GameCube and Wii and also the emulator for the NDS and the N3DS. Regardless, all that I want to say is that I am terribly sorry, but if I want to make my content reach more people, I have to do it in English because I don't see the Portuguese community liking uh, the content that I make and it doesn't reach the Brazilian ones, they are more inclusive instead of not wanting um, people to know. Um, it is very sad that I have to make this decision, but I really hope that you guys understand it. I will continue to write in Portuguese for articles and websites and whatever, um, but yeah, in regards to YouTube, I will have to change to English. If you are mad, I understand. If you are supportive, I understand it better, really. Um, but yeah, so there's that. You are free to subscribe, comment, like and share and all of that stuff. So. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I started YouTube uh, the channel on June 30th, 2016, four years ago when X and Y was transitioning to Sun and Moon. I had college, so I didn't have enough time, and then now I have work, and now I didn't have any motivation, and I want to see if I have both. So yeah, thank you for listening to my cruel talk. <laughs> um, now, the real talk about the video. Ash getting Sobel. And how I do not like that idea, in the slightest. Nothing against Sobel or the evolutionary line of Drizile and Intelia. But, um, in July 12, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after, Ash will most likely get Sobel because we saw magazine scans and whatnot, and I don't like it in the way that people are expecting Sobel to be the new Greninja. Yes, this is going to be a, 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 a not a Greninja rant, but more of a Galar rant. Um, because here's the thing, if Ash catches Sobel, people will want for him to be Greninja, and he cannot be a copy of Greninja, as you may see. Um, although I do not want for him to be like Squirrel, Totodile, and Oshawott being like the Water Baby, or maybe be a stupid Pokemon like Palpitoad, I would prefer for him to be like a strong Pokemon without the needing of the ball, like Corfish, or even Buizel. Or maybe have a Kingler approach, but I don't. I, I am not sure because in my eyes, in my eyes, Riolu is the starter for this series because this series is Pokemon Journeys, is not Pokemon Sword and Shield. It has Galar plots. It has Galar Pokemon. It's not a Galar series, so it doesn't make sense for Ash to have the Galarian starter per se. I would prefer for Go to have the um, Sobble. Imagine if Go has the Pokemon trainer team from Super Smash, but instead of being Charizard, Ivysaur, and Squirtle, he would have Cinderace, Twaki, and Sobble. Same flavor, same type, same stage, but different Pokemon, if you catch my drift. Um, because Ash getting Sobble, people will want to expectations too much because Greninja was stealthy, because it's Greninja, this one is stealthy because it's a super spy, it's 007 and James, it's James Bond, and nah, come on, nah. 
You are already expecting too much from the poor little guy. And if Ash gets, gets Grookey, which I would prefer, honestly, because he caught all of the grass stars and s s rather than Chespin, and we all saw how poorly Chespin was treated with Clement but back in X and Y. Um, better that than having him put it in on the screen, so there's that. <laughs> um, but seeing Grookey, I see more potential because. Torterra and Infernape could return for Sino merch and also to mentor Grookey in a way, but I know that people will be mad that Ash got Grookey and not Sobble. It's a double-edged sword. If he gets Sobble, people will be mad if he doesn't get Grookey and vice versa. However, if he gets both, we will have one Pokémon being the comedy relief, like Rowlet was to Tauracat later on in Cineroar, or we will have a Pokémon that fully evolved, but it doesn't work for him, like when Turtwig in the middle of the series, when Ash already had the um, Chimchar back in Eminent Pearl, we saw him get into Grottle, then Torterra was becoming more slower and more stupid, unlike Paul's Torterra. So Ash cannot have one without people not wanting for him to have the other, but he cannot have both. Because one will overshine the other, if you if you understand my, my my point of view. I do not dislike nor Grookey nor Sobble. I chose Scorbunny on my shield because it was my favorite, but I do not dislike the other two. Rillaboom and Inteleon are amazing Pokemon. However, I would prefer for Go to have them for Riolu and later on Lucario and later later on Mega Lucario to have the Galar treat the Galar treatment the starter treatment um, because it's Pokemon journeys it's journeys around the world everything around the world is Pokemon based so Aura is something that all Pokemon of the world have so let Riolu be the starter and if he gets Kupfu it's understandable because in Kanto he had three water types in Sinnoh he had three ground types in Kalos he had three flying types, so it's not that bad if he ends up having two fighting. Maybe they could have a little rivalry dynamic. It maybe can have Cub Fu evolve into a third form like Lycanroc. Like we don't know. Imagine an Aura Urshifu or something around those lines. Um, but yeah, regardless. My problem with Ash getting Sobble is that he will either be overrated like Greninja was, it will be a comedy relief like Rowlet was, or it will be on Grookey's shadow or it will overshadow Grookey. So let go have Sobble and Grookey have let go have the Galar starters because he's the the Galar representative per se, kinda. It's a mix of Go, LGPE, and um and also started the shield. Especially since in the Isle of Armor we have also the Kanto starter, so there's that. But yeah, I really would prefer for for Go to have Sobble and also Grookey. Like I said, Cinderace, Tuaki and Sobble, it would be great. Because we saw how powerful Ash's Squirtle was, so maybe the same treatment. I could see Greninja coming back to mentor Sobble, but not mentoring in a way that it's also Ash's Pokémon. But yeah, that's basically all that I have to say about um, Sobble. I know that this might be an unpopular opinion, but it's not that I don't want Ash to have them, I just know that if he has them, it will be not as great as it should, or worse than we are going to think about. So yeah, thank you all for your time. I really hope that you like this little discussion of mine. If so, put a like on the video. Uh, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe and all of that. So without further ado, thank you all so much for your attention and catch you later, trainers. See you next time. Kuroblitz out.